I'm going to step you through how I do project life from start to finish. Uh, the first thing obviously is getting the app. So if you don't have the app already, um, it's just called project life in the app store. And that is what you'll see as um, the description. And uh, once you've downloaded it, then it just sits on your phone. Now, the one thing about the app is it, you don't sign in with a password. So if you transfer to a new phone, you can't just sign in and get all your layouts that you had on the other phone, which is fine if you use Dropbox and I'll show you how to do that today, but it's just something to bear in mind so you don't lose your photos. Make sure that you save your photos to Dropbox every step of the way. Now, if you're going to do a new layout, you just click this blue quadrant there. And when you click on a space, you have the option to choose a photo or um, something from a kit. Now I have a number of kits now because I've used Digital Project Life for a while but there's still kits down the bottom that I don't have and either because I haven't purchased them yet or they just didn't appeal to me. So once you purchase a kit it stays up the top and of course when you buy the app um, you will begin with some kits that are provided for you. Okay, so I would choose then what I wanted to put in there. Like I said I could choose to go to my photo album and um, put a photo in there or um, it'll tell you if it's going to be low resolution so that one's not great for that space um, but it would be okay there um, but yeah you just click it and you add in whatever you want so you can choose um, different layouts obviously I'm not concentrating on making this one match I haven't finished downloading that one yet um, I did just get a new one today which I love thinking about what it what it was called because then I can suggest it to you here we go it's called September skies edition and I love these this had some really lovely ones in there yeah so you choose what you want you can um, put text in as well so if you click in a box um, and you press the one that isn't a photo and you go down in the kits you'll see there's journaling cards and then there's also um, your filler cards if you want to write um, where's that September one if you want to write into one of those spaces and write about your day you just got to choose one of the journaling cards and when you choose a journaling card it allows you to click in it and then to write in it so I can write things in it I can change the font okay I can change the size uh, so I can make it bigger or smaller I can also change my line spacing which is not going to change now because I only have one line I can change where it appears in that layout and of course where it's set so that's really how you um, just click different ones to choose what you want to put in there so there's title cards that you can use to put the date in um, but I'll just show you a completed um, layout of mine so I'm not done editing the page I'm just going to say no um, Okay, I should say yes to get out of it. Now I've just saved one here, so that's the one I was just working on. Um, here's a completed page and I'll just show you how I save it. Now you'll see on some of my photos I have overlays. You can buy overlays, so over the top of your photo you can put quotes and different things. That's part of the kits as well. Now when I finished aloud, I just click down the bottom here and I select export. And whilst I only print my books in 7x7s, seven seven, I always choose to export as a 12x12 12 12 image because it means that I'm exporting a larger file, so the quality will be a little better. Now you can choose where you save it to, but like I said, I would recommend importing it to Dropbox. And in Dropbox, I have a number of files set up. You need to come up with a system to date your photos and you'll see how that'll be really useful for you later on um, but today's date is the 5th of March so let's just say I call it oh did I put 6th yes I did let's just say I call it 5th of March now when you uh, name your files you want to be consistent with how you name them and that's going to help you for later on now I have set up in Dropbox folders so um, all of my project life 2016 layouts are in here by month and then obviously we're now in 2017 and I don't have a March folder yet so I just press create folder and I type March and then I would 
put that photo into there. So that photo is now going to save into my Dropbox. And I can access that photo now from anywhere because you can sign in using Dropbox. So I could go onto my computer once that's saved and oh, it looks like it is saved and I could access it there and that makes it really easy when I'm putting a photo book together. It also means that if I lose my phone, um, I have all the layouts um, up to today in my um, in, on my computer or I can access them on Tim's phone or anywhere so I haven't lost those layouts. Now when I first started doing Project Life I used to save them all just into the folder for the year and I didn't name them um, and that makes it really difficult when you come to making the photo book it takes a lot of time so over the years I have worked towards making it as easy as possible and that's why I recommend doing the file for the year and then also per month so if I go into January for Project Life 2016 that's all of them for January and uh, come up with a system that works for you with dating them and I'll show you now how you access them on your computer and from your computer and then work towards creating that photo book. Once you're on your computer you want to find Blurb so you can use any um, printing company but Blurb is who I've used for a long time now. If you're searching for them just make sure so it's B-L-U-R-B -B, um, just make sure that the one that you select has AU at the front for the Australian uh, company or page there are a number of different sites you can go into so America Australia Brazil Netherlands Italy France Germany Spain lots of different ones there's also other countries but just make sure you're on the right page for the country you are in now once you are on that page it will look like this the photo book that I always choose to print and there's no right or wrong um, photo book to print obviously it's whatever suits you best you could get a soft cover version that is quite a bit cheaper it's nearly half the price um, or you can get a dust jacket so that's where the um, cover just is like an image over the top of it but you can take it off what I choose is a hard cover so my image is actually printed onto the cover of the book so I always choose that one the hard cover one and the size that I choose is the small square so it's 7 by 7 inches or 18 by 18 centimeters there is a large square version there that's 12 by 12 inches so 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters the only reason I don't choose that one is just because I'm worried about photo quality all of my photos um, for Project Life are taken from my phone only because it's so much quicker and easier and I know that I'll take photos because my phone is on me. Uh, so I don't have any professional photos in the Project Life book. Um, sometimes at the end of the year if we have a professional photo shoot I will just print the photo shoot into a book but I still choose 7x7 seven seven only so that all the books line up nice and neatly. So that's the one I choose. When you're ready to get started you just click get started and um, I would suggest making an account. So I already have an account and you'll be able to see that when I go into the next tab. Alright so once you've clicked get started it will prompt you to set up your book so you click photo book and you choose whatever size you want and then you just press create your book with blurb. Um, if you have created a, a created a PDF, you can also upload your PDF there. But that's the button that I always press. So um, for these books, uh, so 7 by 7 inches is $15.99 for 20 pages and every additional page is 25 cents. So you can work that out. The one that I did this morning from January to July was 112 pages and it worked out at around $70. Um, if you do the 12 by 12 inch, it starts at $72 and you add 50 cents per page. But because I have so many photos, that wouldn't be reasonable for me. All right, so in my dashboard here, these are all my books that I've created over the years. So you can see them all there. This is the one I did this morning from January to July. Uh, and what I love about Blurb is that if there was a fire or I lost one of the books or it was damaged, I can order more. So I just click that button and I can order more. Um, I can also, you know, so you can order them as gifts if you have one set up that you would like to print. And I save every single blur book that I create. I also pay the $4.99 to create the downloadable PDF file. And they send that to you and you can just keep it. What I thought about the digital file is that in the future when my boys are older, 
because we live in a digital world, they might prefer to have the digital files rather than the hard um, cover books. So I've got both options. I can order hard cover books for them or I can just send through these PDF files. So it's just the book literally printed. These are all photos from before we got married. Um, just printed into, uh, not printed, sorry, just displayed as a PDF. So you can email that. Okay, so this is the book that I did this morning. Like I said, it's 112 pages long. You can write a bit on the front. So I always put in January to July or whatever the months are. And then I put out age as well, just for interest sake. And then these are my layouts. So that was done this morning in probably 40 minutes. And it's 112 pages long. So that one there is the one that I've already completed. I am now doing August to the end of 2016 and this is the last page of November. You can see on the side here that I have the December images loading. Take no notice of how long it takes for my images to download because we have the world's slowest internet. But I'm going to show you how I set up my um, Project Life album. So in Dropbox, I can access it straight from my computer. If I go to Project Life 2015, these are all the layouts that I did for 2015. And I didn't, I numbered them just so, not by date, but so that was the first um, layout that I saved to Dropbox, second, third, fourth, etc. I've since decided that it works better if I label them properly so March 5th, March 6th etc but you do need to mind mindful when you are importing them that they can muddle up so you just got to keep a close eye but that was all of 2015. In 2016 I decided I would set up the months and this has been far easier. Once you set up these months which you just do by putting a new folder in okay so new month it will then show up on your phone when you are saving to Dropbox you can select that one so I could select January for 2016 and I could save a layout straight into there. So it makes it much easier when I'm putting photo books together um, to find the months that I'm looking for and it's a lot quicker to create the photo books like that. So for 2017, so far I only have January, February and March um, and I'm just going to show you how I put the photo book together. So the first thing I did was just to copy um, this album uh, on a Mac and I'm not very good on Microsoft so you'll just need to work through how it'll work in Microsoft might be exactly the same but I just copy the folder onto my desktop and you can see that it's here that makes it really easy now when I go to create my photo book because when I want to download these photos I download them per month so I do a month at a time and I'll show you why. Click get photos and then you can choose whether you want them from Facebook or Instagram. But of course I want them from my computer. Now I just select from my desktop. I wanted the folder Project Life 2016 and I choose the month that I want. So right now I'm wanting to work on December of 2016. So I just select all of those and click open. And that will then allow my photos to start downloading. Now they have finished downloading by the look of it and they're all down the bottom here. So we're going to put December uh, on it. They're not there, they are still 11 minutes to go. Um, we're going to start putting December in. Now when I am putting my album together on the computer, I actually use Dropbox on my phone to see uh, what I should be putting in in order. So I select Project Life 2016 and December and I have named every one of my images. So I can see, even though they're small, I can see the first image that needs to go on, the second image, the third, etc. So December 1, I can have a look. It has the balloons in it. And down the bottom here, I just find that photo, remembering they could be jumbled up so it depends how they have been copied across but sometimes they get jumbled up now what you do is you just select the photo that you want from the bottom i'm guessing mine is still loading but i think it will be this one i oh, know that's the next one that i need remove it must just be one over uh, let's try this one it hasn't shown up yet just because it's still downloading oh no i know which that one is 
Okay, now I can see it. Here we go. So this is December 1st. I click to the next page. Just click this plus button. So I want a new page. And then I look at what the next photo that I need is. So the next one, the one that I have for December 2nd is this one. I'm just all the time looking at my phone at the dates and seeing what I need. Then I need this one, just dragging and dropping across a new set of pages. And then I look at what I need next. So the next one I need is that. Um, after that photo, I'm just scrolling through whilst I am recording, seeing what I need next. It looks like this one. So mostly they seem to have copied across well today. New page, uh, that one, then that one, and we just keep moving across. Now, if they are jumbled, I'll tell you a little trick. So once you've put a few in, you can just select down the bottom here, click all photos and then go back so it refreshes, select not used in book. And what it will do then is it will get rid of any of the photos that are in your book. So that will mean you have less to choose from and it makes it less difficult to work out which photo needs to go in next. So I, that would be this one. And then this one, because I named these really well, they're coming up in order all the time for me. So it's literally that quick. This is Christmas month, which you can tell by all the festive things. Again, if it got too much, just click down here, refresh it by selecting one of these two options and then going back to not used in book. And you can see only a few will pop up. Nearly there. Christmas and Boxing Day. Okay, one left and that will be December done. Oh, I'll just check this one. Oh, that is a duplicate. I've obviously saved that one in there twice, but I'll just go back and check. No, nope, it looks like I need to add that in. All right, so that is okay. Just let me check the date. I think, where did I put that one in? That is going to be December 22nd. So I'll just show you if you make a mistake here because they're all things that will help. So it is December 22nd. So it should have gone um, in here. So I'll just remove that one and put that one in there. I'll have to remove that one. What is it doing? Okay, now I'm just going to go back and refresh so I can see here. What was the one that I just took off? That would be that one and that should be it then okay so i'll just check there in order boxing day 27 27th 28th 29th 29th and 31st so i didn't have one on 30th now just to check you haven't left any out you just select not used in book and you'll see that nothing comes up there so that is it and um, what i need to do now is put the cover together um so if i just go back to the front for interest sake let's see how many pages we have here um, I'm not going to be able to delete that one because it has to be double spread. So there's about 87 pages for the second half of the year. And then I can just select what image I want um, to be put on the front of my book. That's the layout that I use, but of course you can use any layout. Um, so I just type in the Baker family, August to oh, December 2016 um, oh, I normally put that on the same line and then underneath it type project life uh, and that's just because sometimes I print Instagram album so I know what album it is so that is my spine and then I'll choose a photo for the um, front page so like I said you can um, get photos from Facebook okay so I've done the spine and the front cover now uh, and I finished so that is August to December done just click preview and finish I would suggest that you go through and just check that there's something printed on every page because oh look at that that was fun when I sliced my finger I've still got a scar um, because once I did order a book and it came back and there were blank pages in it and it was because three of the photos hadn't loaded properly. So I would recommend just going through and making sure that you are happy with the book and that there's something printed on every page and then select finish. Okay, so I've select, 
selected finish. I'm just going to go across over here because I saw there was a discount code and I always wait for discount codes. Never order a book from Blurb without a discount code because they do discount codes all the time. Well, let me copy it. No, so it's Inspired30. Um, and so I just do not um, order Blurb books without a discount code because that would be crazy. All right, so I don't want any soft cover versions of my book. I don't want dust jackets. So here's the one that I want. Um, now, if I use normal paper, it would be $50, but I do use um, that premium paper and I always select the $4.99 for the um, PDF file that I had told you about. Um, now, there's two items in my cart. I'm just going to go in and also order um, that book that I did earlier this morning. So this one here, I want to order that one as well. This is January to July. So in, that's all done, in um, maybe an hour and a bit today, I have done the entire uh, photo album for the year. Of course, every so often I was doing my layout, so either daily or weekly or however often I needed to do it, but putting it together only took me about an hour. So I'm going to see if I can use this discount code. So we select checkout. Just covering that up there because I have an address behind there, but I'm just about to apply the 30% discount code. So just watch over the side there. Let's see how much it takes off. So the shipping is $16.72. Okay, so it took off $37.50, I say, and I think $124.60 for a whole year's worth of memories. Um, and that's literally, so 112 pages in the first book and 88 in the second. So we've got 200 pages of memories there. I think that's pretty worthwhile. My top tips would be to make sure that you have your Dropbox set up with folders, which makes it a lot easier when you go to save things in your Project Life um, app. And just remember when you click on the photo, I'm hoping you can see the phone, when you click on the photo and you export it, save it as a 12 by 12, even though you might be doing a seven by seven, um, save it as a 12 by 12. And when you select import with Dropbox, you can actually choose the album that you want. So I'm just going to call this random thing because I've already saved it. Um, but there it is, March, and you can choose a different folder. So I could save it anywhere. I could save it in Project Life 2017, January, and I could pop it in there. Okay, so setting those files up will make it a lot easier when you go to create your album. But hopefully that has shown you how quick and easy it is to create a, a whole year's worth of memories um, using the digital version of Project Life.